training night at the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office Canine Unit. That's all right. He's just figuring it out. That's perfect. That's what we want. Deputy Tony LaRusso, a 19 year veteran of the force, has been training dogs for the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office for the last eight years. These dogs have only been training for a few weeks. Uh, you would be surprised how it takes training to get a dog to bark at a concealed suspect. To do this exercise, we need a bark. So let's just work on the bark. If you had a football player that fumbled a lot, He'd be doing a lot of hands drills and you'd be trying to knock the football out of his hand a lot to get that better for the game. Tonight, officers and their canine partners from all over Pinellas County are here to go through the training with Tony. These dogs are part of a 14 team unit that patrols Pinellas County. If we get any squeaks out of them like that while the door's closed, we're opening it. It's an extremely rewarding experience for the veteran officer, but that's not the only style of training he does. His day actually begins here as he pulls into Admiral Farragut Academy. So this is the daily routine, huh? This is the routine, it's definitely during wrestling season. It's uh, sleep, wrestle, work, sleep, wrestle, work. Tony started as an assistant coach at the school in 2010 before taking over as head coach. A former high school wrestler himself, Tony got into the sport as a way to escape what was going on at home. I have two heroin addicted parents. So growing up was like wrestling was very influential and in kind of helping me out. Every afternoon is the same. Sweep the mats clean and then disinfect them before his wrestlers make their way out onto the floor. I definitely didn't know a ton when I started coaching and I was lucky enough from having good head coaches here to learn a lot. And I mean, I know more about wrestling now than I ever did in high school, that's for sure. But this is not your average wrestling team. In 2017, Tony helped start one of the few girls wrestling programs in the state, all because of his daughter, Angela, who wrestled on the boys varsity team and was the driving force behind the start of the girls program. A couple years later, I had two girls, then I had three girls, then I had five girls last year, and now I've got seven. I was going to play basketball again in ninth grade, but I decided not to, just take a year off. And then I saw my friends all doing wrestling in the 10th grade, and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Round up for the basketball. Maeve Case is one of three state-ranked wrestlers on this year's squad who will be participating in an extra special year for the sport. It's the first time the state of Florida has sanctioned girls wrestling. We've had a girls state championship for several years in Florida as a recognized sport. This is really the first official. So who wants to be the first official girl state champion? I hit my slide by and now I'm here battling. So whether it's instructions on the mat or out in the field, for Tony LaRusso, the reward for him is all the same. Very similar to wrestling. Like we practice together, we train together, and then we compete as individuals. So I find a lot of parallels there. Farragut on three, Farragut on three. One, two, three, Farragut! In St. Pete, Mike Aarons, Spectrum Sports 360. Good job today.